super. Regina Crook is looking for a feathery hat for her carnival costume. She's been searching for days without success. Now she's hoping to find what she's looking for in this fancy dress shop. Time is running out to add the crowning glory to her outfit. Here in Cologne, Germany's carnival capital, the festivities are already well underway. The range of costumes on offer is huge, but Regina and her friends have already made their choice. This year they're dressing up as peacocks, she tells me. They've got the blue dresses they need and fans to sew onto them at the back to look like peacock's tails. But now she needs a hat to match the ones her friends have already got. At this time of year, almost everyone in Cologne is on the lookout for the item that will make their costume really special. Carnival seems to have got them under its spell. Every year, says Regina, I swear I'll just wear the same as last year, but I always end up buying something new. I'm getting the picture. A good costume is the key to carnival success. This is my first time at the Cologne Carnival. I've heard a lot of good things about it, and I'm keen to join in. But I have to admit, I don't really know what I'm letting myself in for. Out on the streets, the revelries are in full swing. In these final days before the festivities reach their climax on Shrove Monday, thousands of people have come into the city looking for some fun. It's the biggest fancy dress party I've ever seen. There are frog princes, or princesses. Chinese mandarins. And cute panda bears. No one here needs reminding that Cologne is a long way from New Orleans or Rio. With the temperature well below freezing, the revelers have to think of ways to keep warm. There's no explaining carnival, says this experienced reveler. It's like a sudden rash. It appears, and then by Ash Wednesday, it's gone. And it seems none of this would be possible without one key ingredient. Alcohol is at the heart of the merrymaking. But heavy drinking at breakfast time can have a downside. There's always a danger that some people may go too far. You have to have a good time, says this lady, but not get anti-socially drunk. We want to enjoy the carnival. And how long will she be partying? It could be all night, she says. The more I see, the better I understand why people in Cologne love their annual moments of madness. <laughs> but a reporter must ask questions, so I search the crowd for someone who can explain the background to Carnival. It's a feeling, says this man. The people of Cologne let their hair down once a year before Lent begins. This is a Catholic area, so many people observe the fast. But we make sure we have a really good time during the five days of carnival. Looking at these revelers, I'm pretty sure they're not thinking about fasting at the moment.
And whatever the historical roots of carnival, by now I'm fairly sure they're not the most important thing. In any case, there's plenty going on here that I'm sure no one can really explain. But I've realised one thing. This wild open-air party in the shadow of Cologne Cathedral really makes people come out of their shells. And, more than anything else, it brings them together. After a couple of hours of partying with strangers, I'm going with the flow. I'm really in the swing of it, and I can't wait for the evening. <laughs> Regina and her friend Tina are also looking forward to the moment when their costumes will finally be put to the test. Was all the preparation worth the trouble? Regina tells me she's been scouring the stores again to get her costume just right. Today she's been in three different shops hunting for a wig. But at last the peacock is perfect. Tina's boyfriend Andy is also ready to party. Tonight he's come as the mad professor. As a carnival expert, he gently suggests that my fancy dress still needs some work. If I want to look like a real carnival goer, he says, what I need is a wig. Yeah, and it works. Now I truly feel I'm part of this. <laughs> the mad professor thinks I need a hint of heavy metal fan to finish me off. <laughs> but I've got to admit, somehow the peacocks look better. <laughs> After hours perfecting our costumes, we're finally ready to catch up with the carnival at a nearby bar. Susanna, the third peacock in the flock, is waiting for us. She's already been enjoying the party for several hours. Inside, it's hot and humid. Perhaps not the best setting for people wearing feathers, but the group of girlfriends don't seem to care. All that counts at Carnival is having fun. I've really enjoyed my day in Cologne, and I can't help thinking it's a shame that by next Wednesday, it'll all be over for another year.